Riemann is celebrating a small victory with big implications tonight. He won the right to have the personalized license plate of his choice after the province originally rejected it. He says he was defending his democratic rights and other Canadians should take notice. Cynthia Roebuck reports. It's such a little thing, a license plate that says free AB on it, but it means so much more. I believe that Alberta has matured. He doesn't have to put up his humiliation and it should stand up and, and ask for independence. Maybe not the most popular opinion, but Tomas Manasek thought he had the right to express it. The province disagreed and denied the plate. I was kind of disappointed and surprised. Like uh, my <laughs> impression was that we have all the rights and freedoms as long as we don't ask for them. Manasek immigrated to Alberta in the 1970s from communist Czechoslovakia and says he's no stranger to the lack of freedom. Canadians do not value their democracy enough because they never had to fight for it on their own soil. He got in touch with the Justice Centre for Constitutional Freedoms to fight the decision. The charter is there. Uh, purposely as a safeguard to not allow the government to pick and choose winners and losers based on the content of what they want to express. James Kitchen is familiar with Manasek's objectives. The center is representing a Nova Scotia man who was also denied. He wanted his last name, grab her, to be on a plate. That case is making its way to the Nova Scotia Court of Appeal. Kitchen says fighting these cases is bigger than just a vanity plate. Government can censor on license plates. It's only one step to censoring on the legislature ground and nobody wants to go there. In the end, the Registrar of Motor Vehicles backed down and Manasek got his plate and made his point. People who, who are willing to defend our democracy and act on principle, that was far bigger reward than, than a plate. Cynthia Roebuck, CTV News, Calgary.